uh, your messengers for us, that you will protect our minds, our hearts, Almighty Yah, that you will protect our little ones, our children, Almighty Yah, uh, that they may be able to have the words sown in them, Almighty Yah, that uh, the, 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 the things we are aspiring for in this walk, in this repentance, in this turn, that our children, uh, that they, uh, uh, that you use them more than you're going to use us, Almighty Yah. Mm -hmm. uh, so we ask for a special blessing upon our children, and that you help us, Almighty Yah, to lead them in the right direction. Mm -hmm. Yah, we ask for your forgiveness, Almighty Yah. We ask that uh, for uh, we fall and we get caught up in our own selves. We get caught up in our own selfishness in whatever form or fashion, Almighty Yah. Uh, but Yah, we thank you for grace, for the power of repentance, and for the opportunity of the breath of life that you have allowed us to get up and do it again. So Yah, we thank you for this time, this day, as you would make the words clear to the people. But they are your people, Almighty Yah, um, that you are calling all of us back, Almighty Yah, and that you are uh, claiming what you have put within us, the special jewels and treasures, whereas the adversary is trying to keep those covered up. Uh, so, Yah, we thank you and we praise you for this day. We ask that everybody may be affected by the Ruach from within. For you want our cups to be clean from within, mm -hmm. Almighty Yah. You're not interested in what we look like on the outside, for it's on the end. So all the iniquity and dead man bones and things, the skeletons in our closet. We just ask that you give us the strength to clean that out, to get those things out, Almighty Yah. Help us, Almighty Yah. We are trying to turn it. We are so far from where we need to be. But your grace and your mercy, you got us here today, mm -hmm. Almighty Yah. Help us not to uh, wallow in, in, in shallow water, in muddy mm -hmm. water, but help us to move on, Almighty Yah. To, to be able to help others, yes. uh, to be a blessing for someone else, Almighty Yah. Yes. Uh, to be faithful, not fearful, yes. Almighty Yah. So, Yah, we thank you thank and we pray. There's none that's like you, and there's none that stands beside you. Well, other, other people, they uh, carve their Elohim out of stones and wood and, and things of old. Uh, we step outside and we see the trees and, and, and the stars and, and the sun, and we know that our God spoke, yes. and it was. Um, and He said that it was good. Yes. Almighty God. So may we be pleasing to you. Yes. Things yes. I had written in my book years ago. Just may I be pleasing to you. Hallelujah. And keep us on that on that mind of having a mind like Christ. Mm -hmm. To be pleasing to you. To not worry about all the others. To be pleasing to you. To be found acceptable. Mm -hmm. Can't worry about no other man accepting me. For you accept me. Hallelujah. We're searching for the wrong thing. Mm -hmm. Looking for approval from the wrong people. Mm. Approval should, should come from on high. Oh, yeah. So, y'all, we thank you and we praise you. You with us on this day, Almighty God. Please, sir. You take over me. You take over my tongue. Speak to the people. Correct all. Correct me. Mm. Books say you don't correct bastards. Correct your children. Hallelujah. Amen. All right. This is time. You want to start this time? All right. <laughs> to build or not to build. Mm -hmm. That is the question. All right. My, my little nephew got me fired up. I have to fire up my little nephew. I said, look here now. You make it, Isaiah. Remember me. Take care of your mom and them first. Take care of your family first. Remember your uncle now. Oh, <laughs> Talented young man now. But to build or not to build, that is the question. And we have uh, a picture of, on one side, men doing what? Work. Grinding. Getting in. Another picture. Good joke. Good sleep. Good sleep. But the son up behind him, man. Long enough been on four, five, six, seven times. Get up out of bed. So to build or not to build, that is the question. So we will have a quick review uh, from last week uh, so that we're, you know, just remember some things we talked about last week uh, for this week. We talked about time and our months. And my wife had brought something up to me that I, I might have not been clear, and sometimes I do that. You know, sometimes just because you get something, you understand something, right? You, you got to make sure that other people get it. You got to make it clear. 
you know, and and, and I've, I've tried to get better at that because sometimes I have understanding of something, but I got to make it clear. Okay, so we was talking about the months, and the second month in Genesis seven and eleven, and recorded in uh, the Torah is the flood, the month of the flood. Okay. Uh, in Genesis 7 and 11, the flood. We talked about, anybody remember what flood meant in Hebrew? Uh, bull or my bull. So, my bull. Okay. And we're only going to find my bull used um, a few times in Genesis 6 to 11. And then one time in Psalm. So we see that Hebrew word, my bull, is specifically talking about the flood of Noah's time. Okay, and you'll see flooded through all the scriptures, but the Hebrew is not going to say my bull, it'll say something else. Well, there's other different translations, but my bull. So in the eighth month off the side, where it says Marcheshvan, which is the eighth month, this is the Marcheshvan of the month or whatever, the eighth month. But in 1 Kings 638, the writer gave us a clue, and he or they assumed that we knew that they viewed the eighth month as the bull, as the flood, okay? So when they were pulled out of Egypt, Yah said this is a month, beginning of months for you, okay? So the uh, seventh month, and when we celebrate Sukkot, uh, atonement, and uh, trumpets, that was the month one, in Genesis, in the beginning, the second month, Marcheshvan, or the eighth month, that was your flood. So in Genesis seven, it just says second month. Okay, um, so the time, time. So what becomes important is that uh, understanding the second and the eighth month that in Genesis seven eleven, the second month was of my bull. After the flood, post-Diluvian era or age, we got to understand that from the, when God said let there be, all the way to the flood, that was an age. The New Testament is full of talking about different ages and times. One age is the age of Christ. That when he comes down and reasserts authority, that starts another age. So the earth has went through different ages. One age is from what Yah said, let there be, to the flood. That was the age. Okay? That's why if the and, and if you've heard of January, no, January is named after the uh, Greek or Roman god Janus. And Janus is supposed to be Noah. Because Noah lived in one what? Age. And then he came to another age. That's why that particular deity is two-faced. Two faces. Able to see one age and then the other age. Okay? Not necessarily the kids, but Noah. He was the one that was found. So uh, in Exodus, Yah instructs Moses to tell the descendants of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Very important. To tell them. Now worry about everybody else. But those people, that this is the first month I be for you. And we use the different secular sources. If you want to get them, we, I, I got them for you. From modern Judaism on Hebraic history and culture also coincided with some of the West African tribal concepts of time. The fall is first. Okay. So uh, so reason why we had to go through that and kind of dig into that, because after that we talked about what? Priorities. And it was first about the most high's priorities for the people. So it wasn't about necessarily, you know, a number of months and time, but what is important or what I need to prioritize with the people first. Okay? So what he did, he said, hey, he prioritized for the people and had an agenda for what? Salvation. Salvation is found nowhere else, for there is no other name under heaven given to mankind by which we must be saved. So it had, it had nothing to do with a chronological time, but it was more of an opportune time, and that you need to worship me first. He had to prioritize us. There were a lot of things going on with Israel within Egypt, and the most important thing 
when he heard the cry, when he the book said the Torah said that he remembered, the first thing he had to do was to establish worship. The Most High reintroduced himself to Israel. There was a, there was a disconnect. Some of us have estranged fathers, mothers, family, and there has to be a reintroduction. Okay? He had to reintroduce himself to Israel, but he mandated, there was a mandating that at their release, when they were released, that was their redemption. They had to what? Worship the one who has paid for their freedom and salvation. So in Exodus, we get a story. We hear all about redemption with Ruth and Boaz. And we definitely hear with Christ. Shaul comes and breaks down about the, you know, that you're not a servant to what sin, mm -hmm. right? But someone's paid a great price for you. They paid with blood. And that blood gets you to salvation. Or gets you to Christ. So he had uh, high priorities about the people. And it wasn't about necessarily the way we deem order. So the most important thing for these people, they got to come out and they got to worship me. They got to worship me. We got we to get this relationship. He had to reintroduce himself to Israel. Okay. All right. Hey, do you remember? Right. Do we remember? The four I wills. One of the four I wills of Elohim. Right? I will be your God. Exodus 6 and 7. I will dwell with you. Exodus 29 and 45. I will walk with you. Leviticus 26 and 12. And I will be in you. John or Yelfanon 14 and 20. These are things that Yah has said I'm going to do with the people. Very important. Okay. So there had to be a reintroduction uh, coming out of Egypt. And when he said, This is the first of months for you, not necessarily mean it's the first of the year, but this is the most important thing is that you worship me. Very important. This is this is priority number one. When we come out of bondage, we come out of darkness or sin, we come on a lot of things. Right? We just don't come with one thing. Mm -hmm. So how does God address us? He addresses us by what things in your life, what is the, the big joker in your life? Mm -hmm. We're gonna play that hand first. And then we'll we'll you know we'll nick off other stuff. Then other stuff. But the we gotta address the big stuff. Right? When we when, when, when they came out and they crossed over. You go up there, you had that land, you had that mountain, but there's some big problems there. There are giants there. They weren't little people, they weren't little pygmies. They were big. So when we come out of whatever we come from, he wants to address the big issues. What's that phrase you say? You know, there's an elephant in the room. <laughs> Why is there tension? There's an elephant in the room. Got to address the elephant. Mm. So when Yah is with us or is dealing with us or is reintroducing himself to us, he ain't afraid to talk about the elephant. Amen. The problem is, sometimes it's our pet. Mm -hmm. Look at oh, look at that elephant like Dumbo. Remember the Disney, Disney Dumbo? Cute old elephant, big old ears flying around. Dumbo gotta go. Verse sheep three and eight, and they heard the voice of the Lord God walking in the garden towards the cool of the day. And the man and his wife hid themselves from the presence of the Lord God amongst the trees of the garden. Walking in the garden. Something that Yah is desiring is to be able to, like I said in Torah class, just to pop up like Al and Home Improvement Show. Remember Tim Allen and Al and Home Improvement Show? And Tim being in the back and all of a sudden, there'd be out right there. What's going on, neighbor? <laughs> you know? And then he had something to give Tim. He had words of wit, things to help him. So Yah wants to be in a position where he can just walk in our life. Mm -hmm. Walk in the backyard. Walk in your house. And when you ain't doing nothing, you ain't worried about it. Mm -hmm. 
But see, when you're smoking dope in the house and you hear somebody knocking at that door, you, who is it? Who is it? You ain't doing, you're not doing what you're supposed to be doing. So there's that, that your, your heart is. <laughs> I'll never forget that. I found my little my cousin's house. We both had a little family. We have met up in Nashville. Some cousins I ain't seen in a minute. We, we grown. My cousin's house and get ready, you know. And, and my wife, I don't know where she at. I got a little time, a little fact, a little time myself. My cousin, my guys, my big cousins. Man, we sitting there and doing what we ain't supposed to be doing. And grown men. Knock at the door. I ain't never seen grown men just running and just scratching. <laughs> and they beat on the door. My aunt Jesus, they beat on the door. We know you're in there. We know you're in there. <laughs> but once again, doing what you ain't supposed to do. What's that phrase? Get caught with your pants down. So the most I wants to be able to uh, walk in and out, and we have nothing to hide. hide. We're not going to hide from him. Right, that's that's a relationship now. Something he's striving for. What are we striving for? Right? So we understand his top priorities. What's our top priority with him? What are the priorities and what God uh, has for us? So what about our priorities again? Is our agenda selfless or selfish? What we prioritize is a witness unto ourselves. I'll say it again. What we prioritize is a witness unto ourselves. So whatever we spend time into, effort, energy, money, whatever, that is a witness on what the priorities are in your life. Hmm. I ain't breaking no law. Came on Shabbat. What are the priorities in life? Does your agenda match his agenda? And when we really think about it, we find two different agendas. It's like going to a restaurant. It should be one menu. You're going to go in the restaurant, they got two menus. You got the, you know, the restaurant's menu, and then you got, you know, uh, somebody in the side hustle, yeah, but I got this dish, though. You got to come out in the parking lot, meet me out in the parking lot, I got this little dish. It's cheaper, too, and it's got, I got flavor in mine. To get you off track. So as our agenda, is it selfless or selfish? What we prioritize is a witness unto our own self. Sometimes I ain't got to go get no prayer. So I ain't got to get no deep, you know, stuff. It's just what I spend time doing today. What I do yesterday. What I do throughout the week. How many times did I crack open the book? Mm -hmm. Did I pray every morning? So it's a witness, to us all. So it's a witness against us. All right? Things how what we prioritize. All right, so so that was reviewed from last week. If, if we missed last week, uh, we're gonna move on forward. Okay, to where we are um, today. Okay, so remember we talked about seeds, right? That there's a certain time in this season where seeds go into the ground. Okay, to get ready for that next harvest. So before the ground gets frozen hard as a rock, people that farm they're gonna start, you know, tilling some ground and putting some seeds in. There. Okay. So, uh, you know, as the seeds, as they're going into the ground, they, they, as you see, you got to cover the seed up. Okay, you got to cover it up with the dirt. So the seed becomes hidden. You don't see it no more. Mm -hmm. It goes into darkness. We've been talking about since we got out of Sukkot about what? It not being a lot of light. Mm -hmm. There's going to be more darkness than light. Just, just, just the season. It's dark out there now. It's, Whatever time it is, I don't know if that clock right or not. So, but the point being is that the seed goes in the ground and it gets covered up. And then at a, a specific time, something sprouts out the ground. So, in this time of darkness, if we're a seed, what's being done with us in this dark time? Mm. What's going to be done? There's not a lot of sunlight out there. 
when it's like we're covered up like a seed in the ground. What's going to be, what, what's going on in a time of seclusion from so much light? The time when the appointed times when they roll back around again, when Aviv and Nisai, when they roll back around again, what's going to be coming out of us? Because you won't believe this. From the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. Because remember, that's the witness, and then so also what we've been doing. Psalms 89. Psalms 89. You can sit up here and talk about bosses and so so called white men, uh, different stuff going on. But that what they got, that they gonna get me saved. Is that gonna really have me ready? Once again, it goes back to what are the priorities? And does my agenda, our agenda, match his agenda? It's got to match. Psalm 89 and 4. Thy seed will I establish forever and build up thy throne to all generations. So he's about establishing a seed and a seed forever. Okay? Well, what seed are we? Mm -hmm. Genesis, what, 3 and 4, there was a... a, a it, uh, two seeds, one the seed of the woman and the seed of the serpent. So we'll be either acting like the woman, a.k.a. bride of Christ, or a snake. One of the two, I don't know. We'll be acting like you, you, you won't be neutral. You see, I know we're in the era where hey, we got the men's bathroom and the women's bathroom and then the, you know, bathroom. And it's not going to be like that. You're either going to be a, the woman seed, the bride of Christ, or a serpent seed, the snake. One of, one of the two. Galatians 3. Galatians 3. We're going to be in verse uh, 16. Hallelujah. Whenever you get there, Galatians 3 and 16. Thirsty. I'm trying to advertise get everybody. <laughs> Galatians 3 and 16. Now to Abraham and his seed were the promises made. He said, not into seeds as of many, and to seeds as of many, but as of one, and to thy seed, which is Christ. In this I say that the covenant that was confirmed before of God in Christ, the law, which was 430 years after, which was 430 years after, cannot disannul that it should not make the promise of no effect. For if the inheritance be of the law, it is no more of promise. But God gave it to Abraham by what? Promise. Wherefore then serveth the law? It was added because of transgressions. Till the seed should come. Till the seed should come to who the promise was made. There were some promises. We'll get right back. There were some promises uh, that he told or asked Abraham to look up. Can you can you number the stars? This is how your seed will be. We, 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 we learned something during Sukkot that a young man named Yosef had two dreams. He had a dream about the wheat. We can go on the scriptures and see where wheat has been compared to people before. There's a great quote unquote harvest, right? The master, the teacher is talking. He's talking about a great harvest. He got all the people of Samaria running up to him because of the woman at the well. She went back and said, Man, this man will tell you everything. He's got to be the Mashiach. And he's talking to his students, and they don't understand the lesson. They don't understand the lesson. Harvest. What you give me? Why are you talking to her? I'm so confused. And he's talking about a harvest. And we need laborers. And there's so many. There's so much harvesting to do. And there come all these people. But Joseph had another dream about these stars. Sun, moon, and stars. 
Now we find uh, uh, angels or messengers being also called what? Stars of God. We have, uh, and Peter talks about the day star rising in your heart, talking about Mashiach. So Joseph, like Abraham, is getting, giving two, you know, we get a, a, a earth, something on earth, wheat, uh, the sand on the seashore. Then they also got sun, moon, stars. Can you count the stars? And then Shaul comes along. He says, you know what? That first man, Adam, of the earth, fleshly, carnal. But the second man, he's a greater man. He's heavenly, divine, spiritual. So then we find ourselves trying to become what? Like him, spiritual. Right? So there are some things the flesh cannot do, our body cannot do, and someone has to intervene for us and to cross us over. So if you're a Hebrew, you got to cross over. It's part of your name. Ever, Ivri, someone has crossed from one region to another region. So we always find ourselves having to cross over. Amen. And it's not, it's not easy to cross over. It's never easy. Like, like a brother told me, uh, he said, you know, in his West African, he like, right up. If it's of Yah, it will be hot. But if it's not of Yah, it just be easy. If it's easy, it's not of Yah. Don't do it. It was that saying, game recognized game. I sure bro, I got that. Show sure was hard. Because <laughs> it must be the father. Strap up, Kelly. Let's go. It's gonna be hard. He'll get you to the other side. Oh, yeah. We got plenty of examples of that. He got no one. This folks to the other side. He knew that one of them was gonna turn into act, act a cup food. Still got them open. Got the children of Israel across that wall. He opened the wall up for. Open up the rivers they could cross through and go over the, over the canyon. He always crossing the soul. Always. We just got to endure the ride. We don't like endurance. We don't like, we don't like endurance. We like to sprint. Put your track stars in there. Hussein Bolt. Mm. We don't like to run. Mm. The long haul. Mm -hmm. The one that's harder to run now. Mm -hmm. Look, your body, your body has to, have, the physiology, it takes harder to run long distance than the sprint. I might use more muscles in my sprint. Mm -hmm. I, might, I might have to generate like a boom and explode out. We run out of gas real quick. Mm -hmm. It's harder to endure. It's a marathon upon a marathon upon a marathon upon a marathon. Yes. A lot of folks, we don't want to do that. Mm -hmm. All you got to do is put your plane in the microwave and push it off. You eat in two minutes. Order, call, order food right quick. Uber food. Uber, bring it to you. Mm -hmm. Verse... Uh, 18, for the inheritance be of the law is no more promise, but God gave it to Abraham by promise. Wherefore then, so the law, it was added because of transgression to the seed should come to whom the promise was made, and it was ordained by angels in the hand of the mediator. Now, a mediator is not a mediator of one, but God is one. Mm -hmm. Is the law then against the promises of God? God, mm -hmm. forbid. God forbid. For if there had been a law given which could have given life, Verily, righteousness should have been given by the law. But the scripture hath concluded all under sin, that the promise by faith of Yahshua HaMashiach might be given to them that believe, them that believe, them that endure, them that endure, them in the marathon, them that didn't quit, them that didn't faint, them that didn't stop, them that didn't you know, tap out. Yes. But before faith came, we were kept under the Torah, shut up until the faith which should afterwards be revealed. Wherefore the law was our schoolmaster to bring us unto Christ. For the Torah is important. It's to prepare you for him. So if I'm a Christian, but I say, hey, the law's done away with, or I'm a religionist, then I really cannot be in Mashiach's presence because I have not been brought under Torah, which was my teacher, to get me ready for him. 
Because I got to make a transition. I got to cross over again. I will not be in this body. I have to be in another town, another dwelling. I have to be in something that resembles what he looked like. So the Torah is a, is a teacher. What grade are we in? What grade are we in? Wherefore, the Torah was our schoolmaster to bring us unto Christ that we might be justified by faith. But after that faith has come, we are no longer under a schoolmaster. So the Torah only does so much. So we're talking about the promises. The promises. Fear all the children of God by faith in Mashiach. For as many of you as have been baptized into Christ have put on Christ. There is neither Yehudi nor Greek, there is neither bond nor free, there is neither male nor female, for you are all one in Mashiach. If you be Christ, then you are Abraham's seed and heirs according to the promise. Mm -hmm. There is a promise to live, there is a promise to go, there is a promise to get, uh, is to be those stars. There is a promise. And Abraham can't get you there, but the mediator can. Mm. Abraham can't get you there, but the mediator can. He had to be that one seed to bring forth many, many children. But could no man do it? That's why everything we go through, every problem, every issue, every hang up, every flaw, every hiccup, every sin, everything, Mashiach is the perfect high priest because he went through all of it and aced it. He aced it. So he didn't need a sacrifice. He didn't need to do anything like the high priest of, or men to have to do an offering or a sacrifice before he do something for somebody else. It was his own sacrifice. He done been through it all. That's aggressive. That's, a, that's an even better counsel. Think of how good of a counsel you got. Not that everything that we deal with, he went through it. Oh, yeah. Rejection, mm -hmm. depression, de depre everything that a human being has felt, he actually felt it. He just aced it. Mm -hmm. So think of your counselor. Mm -hmm. But if I ain't asking questions, yeah. if I'm not saying, how do I get over the hook? I'm going through my own book. Mm -hmm. I, I got to get back to asking questions. Hey, I, how do I get over this? How do I do that? Or how do I do this? We got him. So, what, so it's, he's a great king. Give me Isaiah uh, 11. Isaiah 9. Isaiah 9. Start about verse 3. 4 or 5. Somewhere in there. About Isaiah 9 and 4. Great counselor. For thou hast broken the yoke of his burden uh -huh. and the staff of his shoulder, the rod of his oppressor, as in the day of Midian. For every battle of the warrior is with confused noise, mm -hmm. and garments rolled in blood. Mm. But this shall be with burning and fuel of, of, of fire. For unto us a child is born. Now who is born? A child is born. A particular seed. Go ahead. Unto us a son is given. Uh huh. And the government shall be upon his shoulder. Uh huh. And his name shall be called Wonderful Counselor. What? Wonderful Counselor. So we got a counselor. You can get help. Mm -hmm. Look, I, I, I love. I, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm learning. I'm enjoying my new job. I'm telling you, look, Kayla, look, ain't no wrong with you, <laughs> Mr. Zon. Ain't nothing wrong with you. Ain't no wrong with you. A lot of things we don't take it to the counselor. Mm. We can get fixed. Mm. If you want to get fit. Look, there's something wrong with my car. All right, I, and I know something wrong with it. And somebody get that thing fixed. Now, if I don't get it fixed, that thing will shut down on me. Well, who fault is that? And that's the council fault. So the council said, he said, son, my door been open. You been have my phone number. You can hit me up on Facebook. You ain't done nothing. Now your car messed up. You ain't go to your counselor. That's all. I actually hear that wonderful counselor. <laughs> that's, that's, all, that's all I need. Thank you, sir. So maintain spiritual momentum. 
talked about this after some coach coming out. Maintaining spiritual momentum. You know what happens when we come out of Sukkot, we try to maintain spiritual momentum? You get a flat tire. Mm -hmm. Come out of Sukkot, you know, doing 90 down the freeway, you speed, you feeling good. Doing good. Now you got a flat tire. Once again, that's why I try to warn you, it's about to get dark now. Mm. The animals that are nocturnal, they're about to have a little more rule now. Oh, the wolves. <laughs> well, they come out and they hunt. What, what, what they wolf hunt? Look at your neighbor and say, You. <laughs> you think he's going to come out of some cold, just driving, he's doing good, he's going out, just, and, and, and not conscious. Mm. And you're not on your head. Mm. So we're going get flat tires. Stop that momentum. Keeps us from what running the what race. Yes. Impedes on the momentum. Mm -hmm. Get distracted. Detour. I gotta get. What's that when, when that folks running uh driving and they, and they gotta do a, a pit pit stop? And the pit stop take you know now my pit stop turned to a tail. Mm -hmm. I was being in and out. What were you doing on this day? 10, 9, 19. It was 11, 9, 19. You know what you was doing? You were fasting. Mm. You was fasting. Or well, coming out of the sundown. Where we at now from there? Mm. So focused, so into it, so so. Then I was, I was a tunnel vision. That's some athletes be saying. Uh, you know, once they, what, 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 what they say when, when they figured out, man, the game slow down. Tunnel vision. Can't nothing distract me. I'm, I'm, I'm into I'm, I'm boom, I'm zoned in. And a month later, flat top. <laughs> said the wolves. Well, everybody know who that is. <laughs> who was that? Bam. Says Benjamin Age Babies. ABC on them Saturday nights. Did the cartoons come on? Mom, get that thing and pop me that popcorn. That good that old school popcorn. That. Overville Red Box. <laughs> See, not microwave, on the stove. Yes. <laughs> and then once you take the popcorn now, you put that butter in there, let the butter melt, and you pour it on there. Oh, man, please. <laughs> Bad deal. Whatever did the cartoon come that Saturday night on ABC? Hers was on the fireplace. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> Sad sound good too. <laughs> sound good too. Dear C's. <laughs> <laughs> That's what time it is, right? Mm. Mm. The snow is dark. <laughs> oh, wolves. <laughs> and what we don't realize is that you're the deer. Mm. Oh, wow. We told you when you come out of Sukkot. Mm. Mashiach, like y'all know the day, or the this, or that. Well, it's, it's that time again. You spent a whole month. You blew horns. You shouted. You screamed. You made a. You did what you were supposed to do. Days later, you afflicted your soul. Mm. Come on. And you prepared for the end gathering of the end mm. of the year. You brought everything you had. Your worship, your praise, your time. Mm. You fly, boom, you fly, you feeling good in the lamp again, you fly that thing. They've been waiting on it. Because they knew it was about to get dark. Not a lot of daylight. That's why your teacher, he said, work while you got day. Because he knew. But you gotta have a lot of him in you. See, so we gotta have the Ruach in you. So that we can see God's big picture. What's that when you when you talk with somebody about business or something, and then you know you they do a proposal to you, and you give your whatever, and you give it back to say hey, the ball's in your court now. Mm -hmm. So the darkness, the ball's in their court. It's just that season, and you're Bambi. 
There are wolves, coyotes, there's hunters. There's all kind of creatures that are looking for the deer, or more biblically, the sheep. You're on somebody's priority list. So we're supposed to be using this time to get our priorities together and addressing things uh, of Yah and, and my life and et cetera, et cetera, because I'm preparing going forward. But on the other people, bad guys, darkness, you're their top priority. They knew where you came from, what you was doing, spending your time in the tent, or sukkah, whatever you was doing. You put that, you made it a priority that makes you a threat, that makes you an enemy. Do you realize that you're being hunted? This game is deep now. And you know what they're doing? Them spirits and uh, fallen angels and things in the dark. When they get you and they catch you slipping, you know what they're saying? Got them! <laughs> Got him. Having a good old time. Got him, coach. You said that in practice. Doing one on one drills. You bust somebody, but got him. I got him. Caught, killed him. That's what they're doing to us. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> no, my grandma was she, my grandma, she said a lot of good stuff. She would say, See, you done got in trouble. You done messed up. Now the devil just laughing at you. Mm. Just laughing at you. Because the devil never forgot the word. You know how you're supposed to step on the serpent seed's head? Mm -hmm. Even your teacher, your redeemer, said, hey, I give you power to tread over serpents and scorpions. But we forget. You know, we, we don't remember things. We have ebbs and flows throughout the year. Mm -hmm. Right? Because it's, 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 it's toned in time because we're getting ready for the Super Bowl of Yacht. <laughs> Some coach. The finals, you're getting ready for it. You, you, you tone it in, but when there's not anything, idle time, idle time comes a man's greatest, greatest downfall. Yeah. Mm. Idle time. Mm. Proverbs 14. Mm. I'm going to leave that brother up there. <laughs> Got him. Proverbs fourteen and one. I'll even never get there. Brother, quick. <laughs> I knew you were quick. Brother, brother, still fired up. Hey, it's good. <laughs> Proverbs 14 and 1. Every wise woman buildeth her house, mm -hmm. but the foolish plucketh it down with her hands. What kind of woman are we? Mm. What kind of woman is Mashiach looking for? Mm. Wise. Mm -hmm. He's looking for a woman that knows how to build a house. Mm. But you know what we do? We got tendency to that other woman. Mm. I'll turn her house down quick now. Mm. I'll turn house down real quick. Mm. Be looking for someone, a woman that can build a house, not tear a house down. Mm. So we have a, a distorted view of what he's looking for. Right? We we accept certain types of men and women because we've dealt with them in our past. You know, if you've had you a, 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 a club kind of girl or lady some y'all you know some y'all y'all like them thug dudes you know y'all you know you know y'all like what pop was saying you know baby you thug in your life you know some of y'all like y'all like I need some Timbo boots and some rope around here and a big old chain DMX chain or something walk around a white beat all day huh so 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 we 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 do have a distorted view of what I'm looking for now we grow out of stuff but you attach yourself to that. Right? You like the woman gyrating and shaking and flipping on poles and stuff. <laughs> so 
So we have a distorted view of the type of men or women, you know, even when we grow out of stuff. You know, it, it's, it's been programmed in you. Mm -hmm. You've seen it, you've heard it, or you've lived it. Mm -hmm. You've seen it, you've heard it, music, other people, or you've lived it, you did it, you partake in it. And it's not what Mashiach is looking for. Come on, man. That's another type of spouse. And somebody else would love for you to get entangled with. Because mm. remember, it's about destroying you. Mm. Killing you. Mm. Cutting you off. And the devil, the adversary is so crafty. that if I can get him or her to discard, disregard the Torah, you got to cut them off. That's what he said. If I can get you to turn that ball over, over, and over, oh, you're going to lose. You can't have a lot of turnovers and win. That's life, sport, whatever. You cannot have a lot of turnovers and win. At some point, there has to be the, what was it, the government's on his shoulders. Mm -hmm. Big strong, that's the strong shoulders now. Strong and Aaron's. Big old strong shoulders to, for the government over the whole world. The prophets are very clear. That little man. Everybody on planet Earth will know him. Brother, give me John, Aaron, give me uh, 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 John 6 and 44 and 45, please. No one is able to come to me unless the Father who sent me draws him. Uh -huh. And I shall raise him up in the last day. It has been written in the prophets. It has been what? It has been written in the prophets. And they shall be all be taught by Yah. Who? They shall all be taught by Yah. A few of them? All of them. All of them. Go ahead. Everyone then who has heard from the Father mm -hmm. and learned comes to me. Everybody. Everybody. This entire planet. Can you wrap your mind around that for a minute? Mm -hmm. Think about the entire world knowing who the Most High is. <laughs> Some of us are almost in your house, your family, mm -hmm. to the whole world. I just I just something just hard to wrap my mind around. Brother, give me a, a, a Habakkuk 2 and 14. I knew it was Habakkuk. I can remember which one. 2 and 14. Because he said what well, he just read said it was written in the prophets. Two and fourteen. Mm-hmm. For the earth shall be filled with knowledge. For the what? For the earth shall be filled with the knowledge of the glory of Jehovah. As the waters cover the sea. As the what? As the waters cover the sea. So the prophet gave you an example. He said, look, the way the water covers the earth, that's the same way the glory and the knowledge of most high going to be. Can you imagine that? Can you think of, of all the things that's got to happen for that to happen? Mm -hmm. All the things that's got to come to pass for that to happen. That's why I was like, you got to work out your salvation with fear and training. That makes sense. This world don't give two nickels. Hmm? Luke 14 and 26. We ain't got much longer. Luke 14 and 26. How will never get there? Hallelujah. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't get the first of the hallelujah. I didn't get the first of the quick. Amen. All right, Luke 14 and 26. And it reads, If any man come to me and hate not his father and mother and wife and children and brethren and sisters, yea, his own life, also he cannot be my disciple. Mm -hmm. When that brought up in class today, Come on now. That's why I just said, pay attention. <laughs> Mm. Folks like, man, I had to separate from my family. That's in your book. Mm. You're doing what the book had already said. Mm. Whosoever doth not bear his cross and come after me cannot be my disciple. For which of you intending to build, 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 build a tower, sit if not down first and count the cost? If you're really trying to build something, mm. if we're really trying to do something, then we got to get the priorities. And we got the priorities in order. Got to get them together. Whether he has sufficient to finish it. 
less happily after he laid the foundation, laid the foundation, laid the foundation, and is not able to finish it. Mm. Y'all lays the foundation, he ain't gonna stop on the job. Come on now. But we lay down foundations and we get a quarter into it. I need a break. Mm. I'm tired. I need time out, boss. You look, let, me, let me get a time out. You just look at the rep. How many times I get a 30 or 4? How many time outs I got left? <laughs> Most I look at you say, you ain't got no time out. You just quit one quick. At least happily after he has laid the foundation and is not able to finish it, all that behold it begun to and begin to mock him, mm. saying, This man began to build. Mm. Mm. Are we building in life? Come on. They ain't sorry you've done, but are we building? Yes. Do you have the plan, the blueprint, or the priorities in order? And we're able to finish. Or what king goes to make war against another king, sit if not down first and consult whether he be able with 10,000 to meet him that come against him with 20,000? So if the odds are against you, are you going to the counselor? Mm -hmm. We only got 10,000. They got 20. Did you go to the counselor? Mm -hmm. Or else while the other is yet a great way off, he sendeth an ambassador in desire of conditions of peace. So likewise, whosoever he be of you that forsake not all that he hath, he cannot be my disciple. Got to count the cost. Everybody want to, want to, you know, that's it. Because it's a fad. Mm. I'm an Israelite. I'm a Hebrew. It's a Faker. I can't, I, I, I can't put no stock in you. I'm going to lose all my money. Mm. I can't put no stock in you. And, and, and for saying not all that he had, he cannot be my disciple. Salt is good. But if the salt have lost his savior, Wherewith shall it be seasoned? It is neither fit for the land, nor yet for the dunghill, but men cast it out. He that hath ears, ears to hear, let him hear. Amos 9. Amos 9. We have to get our agenda with his agenda. You have to be working. If you don't know what to work or how to plan or whatever, then you got to go to the counselor. Amos 9. We'll be in verse 6. Right before Obadiah. Amos 9 and 6. I'm sorry, 5, my bad. Amos 9 and 5. Amos 9 and 5. And it reads, And the Lord God of hosts is he that toucheth the land, and it shall melt. And all that dwell therein shall mourn and shall rise up holy like a flood. It shall be drowned as by the flood of Egypt. Now, even in that, it does not say my poor. Mm. So it gives it the significance of the Mabul in Genesis 2 and what was used in 1 Kings 6.38. That's not you know, there. Verse 6, it is he that built up his stories in heaven and has founded his truth in the earth. He that calleth for the waters of the sea and pours them out upon the face of the earth. Yahuwah is his name. It is he that builds his stories in the Shemaim. He's a builder. Ephesians 2 and 15. Ephesians 2 and 15. I will never get there. Ephesians 2 and 15. Ephesians 2 and 15, and it reads, 
having abolished in his flesh the enmity, even the law of commandments contained in ordinances, for to make in himself of twain one new man, so making shalom, that he might reconcile both unto God, reconcile both unto God, reconcile both, that's that mediator. Mm -hmm. That's why you need him. Because mm -hmm. we ain't getting to y'all. We can say y'all and y'all all we want, but we ain't getting to when I'm a Shia. You're not getting there without him. No Christ, no go. Mm. No Christ, no luck. No Christ, you struck. I could have. I could have. I could have gone. <laughs> Both got on the road. But. <laughs> that he might reconcile both unto God in one body by the cross, having slain the enmity thereby, and came and preached shalom to you which were afar off, and to them that were nigh, for through him. We both have access by one Ruach unto the Father. Mm -hmm. We have access by one Ruach unto the Father. Oprah Winfrey's a liar. Mm -hmm. There's many ways to get the liar. Mm -hmm. Now, therefore, you are no more strangers and foreigners, but fellow citizens with the saints, with the Korshim. The messengers that go and give Daniel a word. Since this is the stars of heaven, this is not just you being the people on earth. This is a bigger picture mm -hmm. and of the household of God and are built upon the foundation. Built upon the foundation. Wasn't that mentioned in class this morning? Mm -hmm. The foundation of the apostles and the prophets. That's why we always got to read John in 6. And, uh, give me Romans 15 and uh, uh, 4 right quick. Read that every Shabbat. Romans 15 and 4. Uh huh. For whatsoever things were written afar time. There was what? Were written afar time. Uh huh. Were written for our learning. For our what? For our learning. Mm. That we through patience. And through what? Through patience. Through what? Through patience. Mm. And comfort of the scriptures. Mm hmm. Might have hope. We might have hope. So we got to read that at Romans and that John. Because it's telling you that whatever thing was written, that's for your good. It's, it's proof in that. There's a foundation. There's a blueprint in that. Whatever we do has to be built off of that. What we do has to be built off of that. If you do something else outside of that, you're in big trouble. Verse 20, and are built upon the foundation of the apostles and prophets. Yahshua HaMashiach being the chief cornerstone. So look at here, somebody building something. In whom all the building fitly framed together groweth into a holy temple. Holy temple in the Lord. But then we look at them for our wills. As we said, this is what I, he ain't making suggestions. He ain't asking your opinion. He said, I'm going to be your Elohim. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to dwell with you. I'm going to walk with you. I'm going to be in you. You get all the way to Ephesians. Now I, I, I got to see it. You got to see it. Your foundation, the blueprint is, I ain't talking about Jay-Z blueprint neither. He a liar too. Do as thou wilt. Alistair Crowley, Alistair Crowley said, ain't it? He'll wear that shirt, won't he? So I don't care, I don't care what he do. He's trying to help the people. Yeah, sit in the hell. That's all he good for. He got a black, he got, he got, he got a one-way ticket for you. Why Kanye West crazy? Well, that was his understudy. The drug the man that went crazy. I don't know what Kanye, it don't even matter. If you find the Lord good. Keep digging. If you're faking, they'll probably kill them. That's how they do on that side of the street. They kill, they kill, they own. 21, in whom all the building fitly framed together grows into a holy temple in the Lord, in whom ye also are building, in whom ye also are building, you together for a habitation of who, Elohim? Through the Ruach. 
So we're all little puzzle pieces. We're all little building blocks being put together so that he can dwell within. He gave an example of a physical temple, a physical tabernacle. He said, I got something bigger. But how are he going to dwell in you and with you and you flesh and bones? Apparently, you got to become like the stars of heaven. What Joseph saw, what Abraham, what Yah told to Abraham. You got jokers out here, clowns out here teaching. You know, we're the stars. We're going to be ruling and looking over the man and just shut your mouth. Once again, if people talk like that, you probably have sex with your woman. That's about, that's about all I can say. I don't think I'm paying attention. People having people no attention. They want something from, from your house. Somebody give me Hebrews uh, 10 and 19 through 20. It don't even matter. One of y'all brothers. And somebody else give me Proverbs 24, 1 through 5. So brothers having boldness to enter into the set apart place uh -huh. by the blood of Yeshua. By the what? The blood of Yeshua. Uh -huh. By a new and living way. By what? A new and living way. So there has to be, so if, if he made a new and living way, then there's a pattern for us to follow. He made a way. We have to follow that way. That way started with the blood. Go ahead. Which he instituted for us through the veil. Uh huh. That is his flesh. That is what? His flesh. So he was like us, a human being. Flesh. And he made a way to get to God, and he tore the veil, or to say the flesh. What do you live in? Flesh. If you press hard enough, you care enough, you can get there. But you got to get you out the way. Mm. You, me, got to get you and me out the way. Go ahead, if you ain't done. Go ahead. Yeah, you just said 1920, correct? Yeah, is that it? That's it. Thank you, brother. Next reader, whoever got it. One through five. Mm -hmm. Be not thou envious against evil men, mm -hmm. neither desire to be with them, mm. for their heart study of destruction mm. and their lips talk of mischief mm -hmm. through wisdom is in house building through what through wisdom is in house building is what build a house a what a house mm. and by understanding it is established by what by understanding it is established it is what established wasn't that brought up in class today too mm -hmm. wasn't that brought up about establishing mm -hmm. so yah is looking for the bride to be able to build a house and then have understanding to establish the house. Okay, come on. Yeah. He's looking for a woman. Mm -hmm. So he'll meet you at the well. He met Hagar. Mm -hmm. He met the Samaritan woman. Mm -hmm. He met Rebecca. He'll meet you where you at now. Mm -hmm. And he wants to know, can you build a house? Mm -hmm. And then can you establish the ways of the house? Mm -hmm. I don't want no whole house. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to see my mom at that uh, uh, nursing home. She had them work the shows and the salon with holes in it. I don't want a house like that. Mm. I want someone to build a house and then establish a house. Mm. Can you do that? Mm. Can you do a son of man? Mm. He goes to our third looking. So can't you use him? Can't you use her? Why do you think time is so long? Giving us opportunities. We flinch at it. Fumbling the ball. Your life on the line. Somebody else needs you. But when I'm selfish, I can I can give my whatever I got to give to somebody else. And when I think about it, Jeremy talking to myself. Yes, self. That's embarrassing. Bottom line, that's embarrassing. Had the kids would do something was just nasty. I let it all the way. Boy, you're embarrassed. Every time I see you, just now I'm looking at you, you're embarrassed. We got to look in the mirror sometimes when we are not being who we're supposed to be in the fullness. He don't be saying some or a little bit. Everything these men been reading been all, all. So he wants your what? All. So when I cut him short, man, you're embarrassing. What'd you read again? I'm sorry. Go ahead. 
And by knowledge shall the chambers be filled with all precious. And by what? And by knowledge shall the chambers be filled with all precious um, and pleasant riches. A wise man is strong. Yeah, a man of knowledge increases strength. He wants to be strong. He has, he has good ambitions for us. Sometime in my mind, I hear ambition. You know what comes in my mind? Doom, 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 doom. Ambition of right. Not that kind of ambition, man. I ain't talking about that. I want you to be that kind of man. That Proverbs 24, 1 through 5. Be a watchman. Be a protector. Be a, be a lover. But the priority is not set. Oh, baby, she all right. <laughs> <laughs> the word of word came out. She's like, all right. <laughs> 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 you no, know, I, I love seeing other brothers and sisters with their kids. When they be doing stuff with their kids and looks that be good, I'm like, man, I'm not the only one. I'm not the only one. I don't mean, Sam. Sam, man, running around and jumping around. Well, hurt somebody. <laughs> I, so I, I enjoy saying, like, I'm not the only one. So said, everybody else is cute. But when it's your kid, like it's not cute. Right. Sit your mother, you right. But everybody like, oh, it's good. Yeah. Like, you want you want babysit? You have all three. Y'all got three. Yeah, we got three. We have all of them. Babysit. Still trying to get us a date. Take out my brown sugar. Anyway. I had to slide it in there. <laughs> so well to build. Build. So uh for those who are learning our Hebrew, some of those that already know this, but nah, but nah, to build, rebuild, and what's highlighted is to establish. Okay, so Chris was in my notes somehow, some way. He was in my notes. So get out, I'm like I tell you, get out. But to banah means to build, rebuild, establish, or to continue something. So Yah is a builder because he wants something to be built and then to continue. Right, so when we're seeing about all the people being together, that he's trying to build a temple of people that he can dwell in, it goes on forever. How do you know? Because what Abakuk said, he didn't give the details, he just said, Man, look, the way the earth is like a lot of water, that's where the knowledge of the most high. He ain't on details, he didn't have to. The, the, the people are supposed to believe. We come along, we get Habakkuk. We get uh, Peter, we get Shaul, and they're like, hey, man, he's going to use you. He's going to dwell in you. He's going to put all these saints and put them together. It's going to be like a big old temple. He's going to dwell And the whole earth going to So he builds and he establishes. That's Benah. Benah. It starts with what, what, what letter? What letter, is, what letter is that? Check. Throw a quiz out of nowhere now. <laughs> So, when we see this, we have our bet, right, and our pictograph, right, and we know that's our floor plan mm -hmm. or design or foundation of a house, the foundation of something, okay? So, in one of the, 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 uh, some of these verses in Proverbs about us being able to build a house and then to establish it, have the understanding, then to have the knowledge to fill the chambers with these precious things. But if you're like a temple, and if y'all put something in you, well, then what you're the building, and then you are the chamber with something special in it. And someone's job is to keep the special thing within. Someone's job is to keep the special thing within. Because once again, he remembers the word that was given. I can't have him or her running around here in the fullness of Christ. Can't have that happen. The last thing he wants is for you to be you. Man, look. A word that was going through my head, especially praying for men, as Sukkot was, watch him work. Watch him work. We got to let y'all work. We gotta let y'all work. We have to let him work in our life every day. Don't shut him out. Don't shut him out. It ain't worth it. Don't shut him out. We gotta let him work. Watch him work. Don't matter the time. 
Don't matter the time. Time works for him. He can jump in the timeline and go wherever he want to go, whenever he want to do it. Somebody give me Psalm 127, Psalm, first chapter of uh, Psalm 127 and 1. Go here no more. <laughs> Y'all be mad if I went outside right quick and just got a breeze of cold air. I'd be all right, no, I might be. That'd be selfish. That'd be selfish if I did that. It'd be like you'd be somebody wedding, doing somebody wedding. You said, time out. Let me go to the car and turn the air off. I'll be right back. <laughs> go ahead, brother. Read. All right. Except who will build the house? Except who? Mm. Who will build the house? Okay. They labor in vain. They do what? Labor in vain. So if your agenda is not on path with his agenda, mm -hmm. then you laboring in vain. If your agenda is not with his agenda, then you laboring in vain. Mm -hmm. Read it again, brother. Except who will build the house? Uh huh. They labor in vain. Mm. That build it. Except who will keep the sea, mm. the watchman uh, waking, but in vain. I'm not mm. All right, up on the screen, uh, brothers and sisters. Uh, Proverbs 24 and 24, up to 30. He that said unto the wicked, Thou art righteous, him shall the people curse. Nations shall abhor him, but to them that rebuke him shall be a delight, and a good blessing shall come upon them. Every man shall kiss his lips that giveth the right answer. Prepare, 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 prepare thy work. It's a time of preparation. Mm. There's not no, nothing. There's not nothing going on. Quote unquote. Darkness is more darkness than light. Prepare thy work without, and make it fit for thyself in the field, and afterwards build thine house. Be not a witness against thy neighbor without cause, and deceive not with that. Don't be a liar. Don't be a busybody. If you're busy, you're in preparation, you got your priorities, or you're getting them together, you're thinking, you're writing stuff, and you're getting a, or you're getting a battle plan, and then your battle plan matches his battle plan. Now we can build something. Say not, I will do so to him as he have done to me. Stop being so vengeful. Every time he gets chance, I'm going to get him back. I'm going to get that sucker. I will render to the man according to his work. I went by the field of the slothful and by the vineyard of the man void of understanding. Mm. Mm. And lo, it was grown all over with thorns and mm. nettles and covered the face thereof and the stone wall thereof was broken down. Mm. Then I saw and considered it well. I looked upon it and received instruction. Mm. Yet a little sleep. Mm. A little slumber, mm. a little folding of the hands to sleep. Remember that picture of them, them guys building the house and the other brothers in the business? Mm -hmm. So you wonder why the storms and nettles and all kind of stuff and just not being productive. Yes, come on. Mm. Verse 34, so shall thy poverty come as one that travaileth, mm. and thy want as an arm, like a man robbing you. Mm. But didn't Yahshua say that? Ooh. About the strong man, and he get bonded up. Mm. Thief come in and take his possessions. Mm. Uh, Let's turn to Romans 15. We 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 and we 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 I may glory through Yeshua HaMashiach in those in which pertain to God. 
For I will not dare to speak of any of those things which Mashiach hath not wrought by me to make the Gentiles obedient by word and deed, through mighty signs and wonders by the power of the Ruach of God, so that from Jerusalem and round about unto Alicrium I have fully preached the gospel of Christ. Yea, so I have strived to preach the gospel, not where Christ was named, least I should build upon another man's foundation. Mm. So Shaul said, what I'm doing, I'm doing exactly what he told me to do. Mm. I'm sticking to the blueprint. I don't care what they say in Jerusalem about me. I don't care what some of these teachers today say about me. I'm doing what he told me to do. Mm. But as it is written, to whom he was not spoken of, they shall see, and they shall have not heard shall understand mm. for which cause also I have been hindered from coming to you when you know your plan mm. when your agenda matches his agenda there's going to be hindrance mm. when your agenda matches his agenda then there's going to be hindrance on you going where you're supposed to go there's a difference between you being your own enemy and then the other forces stopping you hinder. It's totally different. Some of the stuff we self-inflict ourselves. We mess up our own car. I don't go to the mechanic enough. I don't go to the mechanic enough. It's cold out there. You got to take care of your car. It's a different season. You got to take care of what you got. Mm. It's a different season. Remember, the ball's in their court now. Christ is the foundation. Give me a Acts uh, first chapter. Uh, probably verse 3. Start like, yeah, start like verse 3. Acts chapter 1, verse 3. Mm -hmm. To whom also he showed he showed himself alive after his passion by many infallible mm -hmm. infallible proofs being seen of them forty days. Being seen how long? Of them forty days. Mm -hmm. And speaking of the things pertaining to the kingdom of the Lord. Speaking about what? The things pertaining to kingdom. Let me stop right there. Now, as I was looking and going to get ready for this, that's something I got to put on a priority to make sure we all have understanding of the kingdom of God, mm. the kingdom of Elohim. Mashiach, I'm so sorry. I broke a kill. Don't be mad. Mashiach, I'm sorry. That's all we got. <laughs> Mashiach. And Shaul talked about the kingdom of God, kingdom of Elohim being where? Within. Mashiach is risen from the ground. And as the book, in, whether he read in Acts, is alive for 40 days, teaching particularly about the kingdom of Elohim. I got to make sure we understand that. I got to make sure that we have a good understanding of the kingdom of Elohim is from within. In. And it was so important. The son of Elohim, dead, rose up and talked for 40 days mm. for a space or a season for a mem. Oh, I'm talking almost done. First Corinthians. Well, before we do that, here we go. Slide. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Before we do that, uh, I got it before you. Uh, Wisdom of Solomon 9 8. So some of y'all have got that book. It's on page 1433. Okay. So I think I'm gonna get past some of the books out. Okay, no, it's okay, it's okay. Well, I got up here. Now they go, they, they, we're gonna lead to an end. Mm -hmm. Some of y'all got your set fairs and you got apocrypha. So for the people that don't have those extra biblical books, but thou hast commanded me to build a temple on thy holy mount and an altar in the city wherein thou dwellest, a resemblance of the holy tabernacle which thou hast prepared from the beginning, which thou hast prepared from the Beginning. It's a powerful thing to say. Something that was prepared from the beginning. Um, those of us that are in the Hebrew class, 
Um, this is Genesis 1 and 1. Be'hreshit b'ra'i Elohim et ha'shemayim ba'et ha'aretz. And when we look at the first letter, what letter is that? In Genesis 1 and 1. Bet. Bet. And we know that bet means what? House or mm -hmm. in. House, in. Mm -hmm. In the house. So in the very beginning, mm -hmm. look at this verse again. Thou hast commanded me to build a temple mm -hmm. upon a holy mount and an altar in the city wherein thou dwellest a resemblance of the holy tabernacle which thou hast prepared from the beginning. Right there in your text. The first letter in the Tanakh, right, we read this way, this way to that way, is a bet. And that thing is big. It's enlarged. Any Tanakh, so when we get to really flowing, we get to look in our Tanakh, the bet in Genesis 1 and 1 is big. So someone had a big plan to banah, build, bet. In, being in. So someone, so he had this, so he had this, John 1 and 1. Uh, Genesis 1 and 1. John, you get John, Brother Aaron will get Genesis. You get John 1 and 1. John 1 and 1. Mm -hmm. In the beginning was the Word. In the beginning was what? The Word. Uh -huh. the, the Word was with Elohim. Mm -hmm. And the Word was Elohim. Mm. In the beginning. Go ahead, Brother Aaron. In the beginning, Elohim created the heavens and the earth. Mm -hmm. And the earth came to be corpus and empty. And deep in the darkness was on the face of the deep. So the Spirit of Elohim was moving on the face of the earth. So in the beginning, he already had a plan of, of building. In the beginning, he already had a plan of building, and you know this because it's a bet in the very beginning of Genesis 1 and 1. In the beginning, he already planned on building Bana, which starts with the bet. He already had that. He already had that. But they had to understand it. So that's what I'm enjoying about uh, people learning Hebrew, that when you see something, it tells you a story. That first line gives you a story from the beginning to the end. In the beginning, he had something big already planned. And you hope to find some in the New Testament. He, he had thought about you before the foundations of the earth. How do you know that? Look at Genesis 1-1 in Hebrew. It's right there. So I'm looking at our pictograph. He wants you to come on in. In the very, very beginning, he wants you to come on in. First, about to close up. First Corinthians 3, 1 Corinthians 3. 1 Corinthians 3. 1 through 17. I'm going to read it. Y'all go ahead and write it down. Uh, actually, I won't read all of it. Y'all write it down. Go back and read it. Uh, verse 9. For we are laborers together with God, and you are God's husbandry. You are God's building. Mm -hmm. According to the grace of God, which is given unto me, a wise master builder, I've laid the foundation, another builder thereon. What are we building upon? Mm -hmm. But let every man take heed how he built thereon. Mm -hmm. That's not going on right now. Turn on your face, crook. A first book. People are not building and following the instructions. They build how they however they want to build. Mm. Bible said, take heed to that. Verse 11, for other foundation can no man lay that is laid, which is Yahshua HaMashiach. Now in any, now if any man build upon this foundation, gold, silver, precious stones, woods, hay, stubble, Mm. Every man work shall be manifest for the day shall declare it, mm. because it shall be revealed by fire. Mm -hmm. And the fire shall try every man's work of whatever sort it is. Mm -hmm. But if any man's work abide, if it abides through the fire, mm. which he has built thereupon, he shall receive a reward. Mm -hmm. So Mashiach comes with a reward in his hand. Mm. Is it going to be a reward or a consequence? The Ayakab, we'll go through that in Torah simple when we get there. Mm -hmm. It's going to be a reward or a consequence, either or. Well, that sword is two-sided for mm. If any man's work suffer, shall be burned, he shall suffer loss, but he himself shall be saved, yet so as by fire. Know ye not that ye are the temple of God. Know ye not that you are the temple of God, and the Spirit of God dwelleth in you. If any man defile the temple of God, him shall God destroy. Mm. At some point, we're going to get into our Maccabee book. Mm -hmm. Get talk about Antiochus and all of them trying to defile the temple. Mm -hmm. 
And who are we? Are we going to be a Maccabee or are we going to be Antiochus to find the what? Temple. Mm. Your body's a temple. Your mind. What you put in there? If any man the temple of God, him shall God destroy for the temple of God is holy. It's Kodesh. Which temple are ye? Mm. Uh, uh, put in y'all notes Second Chronicles six and nine, and then uh, Isaiah forty-eight and eleven, and then let's we're gonna close out on. Um, yeah, I had that too. Sorry. Solomon reigned in a peaceable time and was honored for God. Made all choir around about him that he might build a house in his name. Mm. We're trying to build something in his name, not our name. Hallelujah. And prepare his sanctuary forever. That was uh, Sirach or Ecclesiasticus 47 13. If you have that book, it's uh, page 1512. We want to close in Ecclesiasticus or Sirach. If you have your apocrypha, your Ed's affair, some that don't, there are about three or four Bibles around here. If, if, if you need one, turn to page 1457. If you have your Ed's affair, or your apocrypha turn to Sirach or Ecclesiasticus, second chapter. We'll close on this today. Uh, two, one through eighteen. <laughs> Josh, you turn to page four. Three page three. Uh, thanks, sir. Thanks, sir. All right. Uh, Ecclesiastes, second chapter, verse one, and it reads My son, if thou come to serve the Lord, prepare thy soul for temptation. Set thy heart aright and constantly endure. Mm. Make not haste in time of trouble. Cleave unto him and depart not away, that thou mayest be increased at thy last end. Whatsoever is brought up upon thee, take cheerfully and be patient when thou art changed to a low estate. And be patient when thou art changed to a low estate. For gold is tried in the fire, mm -hmm. and acceptable men in the furnace of adversity. Mm -hmm. Believe in him, and he will help thee. Hallelujah. Order thy way aright, and trust in him. Mm -hmm. Ye that fear the Lord, wait for his mercy, mm -hmm. and go not aside, lest ye fall. Mm -hmm. Ye that fear the Lord, believe mm -hmm. him, and your reward shall not fail. Hallelujah. Yea, the, ye that fear the Lord, hope for good. And for everlasting joy and mercy. Mm -hmm. Look at the generations of old. Mm -hmm. And see did ever any trust in the Lord. And was yeah. confounded. Oh. Or did any abide in his fear. And was forsaken. Mm -hmm. Or whom did he ever despise. Mm -hmm. That called upon him. Mm -hmm. That called upon him. Mm -hmm. For the Lord is full of compassion and mercy. Yes. Long suffering. Yes. Very pitiful. Yes. And forgiveth sins. Hallelujah. And saveth in the time of affliction. Mm -hmm. Woe. Be to the fearful hearts and faint hands and the sinner that goeth two ways. Mm. Woe unto him that is faint hearted, for he believeth not. Mm. Therefore shall he not be defended. Mm. Woe unto you that have lost patience. Mm. And what will ye do when the Lord shall visit you? Mm. They that fear the Lord will not disobey his word. No. They that love him will keep his ways. Hallelujah. They that fear the Lord will seek that which is well pleasing unto him, Hallelujah. which is well pleasing unto him, oh, which is well pleasing unto him. Oh, and they that love him mm. shall be filled with the law. Hallelujah. They that fear the Lord will prepare their hearts, that will prepare their hearts, that will prepare their hearts and humble their souls mm -hmm. in his sight, mm -hmm. saying, We will fall to the heads of the Lord mm. and not into the hands of men mm. for as his majesty is so is his mercy hallelujah mm. the second chapter wow. some might have some rock mm. either way is good hallelujah that was one through eighteen mm. hallelujah 
So time is not on our side in mm. concerning light and day. We have to be preparers, organizers, priori prioritize, you know, and, and we, it is a fight to do that. I was supposed to have some things done for just for here. Mm. I ain't get all of it done. Mm. You wonder how I know? Because we just skipping them around through the service. <laughs> Come on, take it up and sway. Same. Come on, get up and sing. <laughs> I didn't get my stuff, you know? I mean, so we so we have to be, and it was on my list to do. I just didn't get to it. Mm. Who fought is that? Well, you know, it's good. I ain't blaming no school and no kids. Mm. That's on me. Mm. So when we get our priorities and we get our list together, you got to knock it off. Come on. That's your job. Yes, sir. Ain't nobody responsible for what you do or don't do but you. Come on. Told I Yah, Bashem Yahshua, thanking Yah in the name of Yahshua. It's all the stuff on there. Uh, the prayer Wednesday night. Prayers at seven mm -hmm. and Bible studies at seven. I didn't put Zoom, sorry, it's on Zoom. But we're also here. And we're here. So those that are local, it's not everybody, but those that are want to come here on Wednesday night, we'll pray at seven, have Bible study at seven thirty. Um, and then you know, we we'll just have the Zoom and the, it was kind of cool having a you know thing right here. Um, but uh, we'll be here on Wednesday night and uh prayer five thirty and twelve. And uh, so we just we just have we have to keep pushing, keep pushing, brethren. And and uh, you know, in this time, just got to get what things is important, what agenda, what's my what what things am I looking? What do I want? Is that what y'all wants? And I gotta I gotta fit my schedule with his schedule, with his desire, with my desire. And if you don't know, ask. Mm. That's why I said he's a wonderful counselor. Okay, we gotta ask him. We gotta, you know, it's a good time to work on our relationship with him. And um, you know, so we come running up out of the tabernacle, we're gonna do the flat tire. That's all right. Once again, it's just hunting season. You are being hunted. So it is what it is. Balls in is, is in there, is in their court. So that being said, all praise to Yah for the word and inspiration of the word. Um and uh um, yeah, close. Pray on y'all. Uh, Almighty Yah, we give you all praise and glory. Thanks for the word, thanks for the time. Almighty Yah, uh, for your presence. Uh, we cannot do anything without you. We cannot do anything without your spirit, Almighty Yah. So, Yah, I just thank you and I pray. I just thank you for all the people uh, that are here uh, that have committed themselves. It's not necessarily committed um, to, to just hear this building, but just committed themselves to you, Almighty Yah. And a desire uh, to 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 come and to gather on the Shabbat, Almighty Yah, and to continue to to bring you your spiritual presence and your word in their own homes, Almighty Yah, where they go on their jobs and things. So we just ask for your protection, Almighty Yah, for your inspiration, Almighty Yah. So we thank you for you to put so many special gifts in people, and uh, we just pray that those gifts are cultivated and that they are sprout, sprouted out or brought out at, the, at your at the opportune time. So, y'all, we thank you, we praise you, we cannot thank you enough. I pray, Almighty God, that we find ourselves um, prioritizing and establishing what you want to establish, uh, that we find ourselves making a clear distinction between light and darkness, and uh, we find ourselves getting the skeletons out of our closet, uh, that we find ourselves, Almighty God, uh, in a repentance uh, state still, um, in a humble state still, as we read in the, in the scripture of Sirach, about being humble, um, about being patient, even in tough times, hanging in there and being men and women of endurance and having stamina, and that would have to be by the Spirit. Uh, so, Yah, we thank you, we praise you. Give your people the strength we need to run, Almighty God. Give us the strength we need to be bearers of light, Almighty God. Give us the strength we need to beat that oil so that we that our lamps don't burn out, Almighty God. So, Yah, we just thank you, we praise you, be with everybody that's here. And they have traveling grace going on back home. Be with all of our children, our young people. Almighty God, may you bless them. Almighty God, give us as parents and instructors. Uh, give us wisdom in raising them. Almighty God, give us words and, and help us be patient with our own kids and things. So, 
Y'all, we just thank you and we pray. Thank you for everybody that's here today. Yahshua HaMashiach, and we pray. Amen. 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 Uh,